We felt defeated. It feels like it's just another person of power and authority that is dismissing the addiction crisis in our province. On November 8, 2021, Shane Turner was discharged from Regina General Hospital after being treated for an overdose. Just hours later, he was found dead after overdosing again on fentanyl. This week, the coroner denied his family's call for an inquest, instead issuing a recommendation that the Saskatchewan Health Authority improve coordination between hospitals and detox services. But with more people dying of overdose in the province than ever before and detox centers often full, Turner's family says opportunities need to be identified to capitalize on time spent in care in Saskatchewan. It's a people of power authority that have the advantage in changing the narrative for the addiction crisis in the province and are refusing to do so. Others say more needs to be done across the country. Health Canada says in the first half of 2022, there were over 2,500 opioid-related hospital visits across the country. And while data on post-care outcomes is sparse, one 2019 study in the UK found that fatal opioid overdoses were four times more likely to occur in the first two days after discharge than at other times. This BC-based advocate says hospitals around Canada need to do a better job of ensuring the safety of those who come and go through their doors. Dropped off onto the sidewalk or kicked out at 3 a.m. with a bus ticket and nowhere to go. I mean, you know, it doesn't make it feel like you want to go back there and get any support. After battling addiction for years, Guy Felicella says he's witnessed dramatic improvements at St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, which has piloted programs giving overdose patients take-home Suboxone kits designed to stop cravings and prevent fatal overdoses. The hospital has also operated a safe consumption site. Felicella adds that patients could benefit from 24-7 in-hospital access to peer recovery coaches. It works well here for sure, and I think it could work well and if it's mimicked across the provinces uh, in Canada. But right now, Pelicella says programs like these are few and far between in Canada, leaving patients at risk the same way Shane Turner was. I speak for the majority of the province when I say that we are tired of losing our loved ones when their deaths are preventable. Connor O'Donovan, Global News, Regina.